What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and today I am bringing you a video about Darksiders War Mastered Edition. It's broken on AMD, but how bad? Let's compare the RX 480 and the GTX 1060, as well as a couple different patch options we have here, and take a look. Alrighty, so the test bench is going to be an i7-3770K mated to an ASUS P8Z77 motherboard with 16GB of DDR3 clocked at 1600MHz. The power supply is a Corsair AX860i and it is all running on a PNY solid state 500GB drive. You can check out the details in the description below. The benchmark is going to be at the start of the level for Seraphim Hotel. You'll actually turn around and run to the back of the room and start from behind the fire. This is important because the biggest frame drops that are being caused are caused by the smoke and I guess fire effects from what I could tell and this is a good place to start that benchmark. From there we're going to try to walk, we aren't going to run, around to the right of that little fire pit and then climb up the wall and then continue to walk up throughout the parking garage. As we get to the top after we do the double jump, we will take a right and kind of pan over back towards the fire to get some of those frame drops again. The settings are all going to be in 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. As far as detailed settings, I did turn anti-aliasing off as when I was playing, I felt like both options actually looked worse, especially on an older game that's been remastered. Didn't seem to really jive with the rest of the graphics, so I just turned it off. What I did turn up was uh, anisotric filtering all the way up to times 16, and of course we have textures on very high. There's not a lot of options here for settings, unfortunately, but in the main mission, or main missions, in the kind of non-advanced options I did leave the vignette on I think that's how you pronounce it but I'm Texan so who knows vignette huh. I'm almost certain I got that wrong so hopping into the benchmarks let's take a look at 1080p first and as this chart comes up you're going to notice that I actually have two different benchmarks for AMD this is because after visiting the Steam Community Hub I was made aware that there was a beta patch that was supposed to fix some of the abysmal frame drops for AMD so to access this beta, what you do is you right click the game, click properties, and then click the beta tab, and then opt into the beta for beta patch, and I think there's an underscore after it. Now the game will update, and when it boots up, you're going to want to make sure you have the right beta version, which is something like 2.5.5.6.0 or something like that. Unfortunately, this patch didn't seem to gain any or much improvement as we take a look here. For the pre-patch, we had a minimum of 40 FPS with an average of 70 and a max of 102. Post patch for the RX 480 we had a minimum of 43 FPS with an average of 70.5 and a max of 117. There's almost no improvement on average frame rate and only a 3 P FPS bump on the minimum frame rate which is the big issue we're going to see here and we can compare that to a similar priced card in the GTX 1060 whose minimum frame rate was a whopping 114 with an average of 117 FPS and a max of 121. Things don't get any better as we bump up to 1440p where pre-patch for the RX 480 we had a minimum FPS of 35 with an average of 70.2 and a max of 114. While post-patch we did bump up on that minimum frame rate by 5 FPS to a 40 with an average of 70.7 and a max of 118. Of course, if we bump all the way over to the GTX 1060, we see here that we have a minimum of 114 with an average of 116.7 and a max of 120 FPS. What's interesting in both cases is that we're staying or keeping around the same frame rate from 1080p to 1440p. To see a dive in frame rate on the GTX 1060, we have to bump all the way up to 4K. Unfortunately, Unfortunately for the RX 480 we didn't see any significant increase for the patch in 4K either where the minimum FPS was 34, the average was 71, and the max was 114. While post patch we 
we had a minimum FPS of 39 with an average of 68.1 and a max of 115 which was really interesting because we actually had a loss of average frame rate now there could have been some variables I might have looked at the fire a little bit longer um, in that next benchmark and that's what we're seeing there that being said if you guys want to play in 4k and you have a GTX 1060 it's running great you have a minimum FPS of 72 with an average of 88.6 and a max of 110 FPS in conclusion it's kind of sad to see such an old game released with such poor optimization for AMD I was hoping to see something at least a little bit better or at least playable in 1080p especially with the patch as if you're going to advertise that you release an early beta patch to fix issues with AMD then it better fucking work that's just the end of the story there in my opinion so what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and check out one of my other videos there's also my bubble pumps up here it's super easy even if you're on like a tablet you just click that little bubble down here in the corner and you can sub anyways until next time I will see you next Tuesday